So like I said, match with a girl from a different race, because I'm Irish American, right? And she was vegan. Um, you guys know what those things are? If you don't know what vegans are, because some of you are, you know, old as fuck. Vegans, they're this new race of people, right? And they avoid every, they literally avoid everything derived from, uh, from joy. Um, okay, that's a dumb joke. Veganism is not a race. It's a disease. And, and it usually affects white women between ages 20 and 50, makes them angry and arrogant and gassy and grumpy and sleepy and dopey and all the other doors except for happy. You ever go to a vegan restaurant? Everyone's sitting there alone because they have no friends, miserable, farting. <laughs> Ordering that strange vegan food that's always in quotation marks and spelled a little bit funny. Can I have the chicken with the backwards K and no E? Can I have the chicken with the backwards K and no E? What the fuck's up with vegan food? It can't even be itself. It's like the transgender of food, you know? I'm a soybean, but I identify as a buffalo wing. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I know, is born a cauliflower. Deep down, I feel like a mistake. You know what, she didn't like that joke either, I'm not gonna lie. My vegan dad was like, oh my God, how dare you? She said, that's tra I swear in my life, she goes, that's transphobic. That's transphobic. First of all, I'm not afraid of flying overseas, so what the fuck is she talking about? I should put it out there, no, I'm not transphobic. I think everyone should be able to fuck whoever they want with consent, you know, fuck, I don't care. It doesn't matter, but I'm not a fan of surprise dick either. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I don't want to go down on a girl like, oh, you got me again, Tinder. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm at the vegan restaurant, right? She's mad about this joke that's transphobic. And I'm, she's part of the LGBTQIA plus sign community, which is great. I'm a big fan. You shouldn't laugh at that. And. Uh, <laughs> But then she brings up Caitlyn Jenner, which isn't fair, because I'm a comic, and yeah, that's low-hanging fruit, literally. So, this is The Late Show, right? Am I fucking wrong? What's going on? Okay, <laughs> So I say, no, this is the first date at a vegan, so don't judge me too much. I say, the burp had nothing to do with the joke. I say, I say, oh yeah, I saw Caitlyn Jenner, the roast of Alec Baldwin. She's put on some weight. She's got that, uh, what's it called? Uh, trans fat? Guys, that is such, for a first date on a Tuesday at Vegan Glory Hall? Come on, guys, fuck you. That's a solid first date joke. Her head <laughs> explodes. She goes, how dare you make fun of Caitlyn Jenner? And then she tells me this, which blows my mind. I won't get too political here, because I know we're very mixed politically, but check it out. She tells me, because Caitlyn Jenner's a Republican, you don't hear what she's doing, because the li liberal media won't cover it. Check it out. This is stuff you don't hear about in the news. Caitlyn Jenner, she donated $100,000 to a safe house in New York City. Did you guys hear about this? Let's see. She's going to speak at the UN next month, and she's helping draft a bill for equal rights for transgender people in the Senate. Did you guys know this? No? Yeah, because it didn't fucking happen, people. Caitlyn Jenner hasn't done shit. She is a fucking Kardashian. Fuck Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. No, Caitlyn Jenner hasn't even saved a gay kitten from a tree, okay? All Caitlyn Jenner did was become a woman and start running people over with their SUV. That's pretty much all she's done. Well, <laughs> don't hashtag cancel me. I'm not saying that she ran people over because she's a woman and women are shitty drivers. That'd be a mean joke. That's not what I'm saying, okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just stating the facts. And the facts are Bruce Jenner, perfect fucking driving record. Caitlyn Jenner plowing over bitches with her Escalade. Those are the facts. I didn't say she became an Asian driver. That'd be hacky. I'm not saying that. And I'm not misogynistic. But the, the, on the flight here, I had a female pilot. I wasn't worried because she didn't have to parallel park. So what am I worried about? <laughs> where did I lose you? It's because I said bitches. Is that where it was? 2020, you can't say bitches anymore. You can't. You know who hates the word bitches? Cunts. Oh, they can't stand it. So I'm at the vegan restaurant, right? <laughs> and she was a big hashtag girl boss. She's like, I got these jobs, this business, and all that stuff, and that's fucking great. 
She said, I'm a strong, independent woman. And then the check came, she became old fashioned. What the fuck is that about? What's up with the selective buffet feminism fourth wave shit? Equal work, equal pay. Yes, all women. Hillary for president. Yes, all women. Pay for your own drinks. Wait, what? <laughs> no. I'm not. Bill. That's not very romantic. It's Valentine's Day month, Bill. What about romance? Don't you believe in romance? No. <laughs> romance is bullshit. It's a marketing ploy. You think romance is real? Those movies. <gasps> You had me at hello. You have a girl at hello, you're getting chlamydia. And welcome to Vegas. <laughs> Hashtag true story. So I'm at the vegan restaurant. And then she tries to convert me to veganism. Why, they always want to convert me. She goes, you know, it's not natural that you eat meat. It's not natural that you eat meat. This is LA, nothing about this woman was natural. Everything was fake. She had four inch heels, fake tan, fake boobies. Above the neck was all stretched, stapled, tucked, peeled, injected. Her face looked like a baby trying to squeeze out of a womb. She's like. <laughs> you want some like chicken with the back of cake, you know me? Oh, so gross. So I'm fucking her, right? And um, it was her choice. I actually didn't even give consent. I was sexually assaulted. My penis didn't know he was being sexually assaulted. He was like, oh, I'm big. Anyway, but I'm against the wall, just like, oh my God, and she's going you know, down there. And all I'm thinking is, is she still vegan? Uh, it's a fair question. I mean, she didn't swallow, so maybe she is. I don't know the rules. <laughs> Guys, fucking relax. It's a joke. Of course she swallowed. What are you, out of your mind? But it's L.A. She's probably bulimic. And now we're back to vegan. That's the circle of life. <laughs>